All right, rapid acting insulin. The names for these are Aspart, Lispro, and Glucinine. Trade names Novolog, Humalog, and Apidra. The one you're going to probably see most often is Aspart. Insulin, Aspart. Now, what do these rapid acting insulins do? Well, they have a very quick onset where the other insulins are taking an hour or two hours to have their onset. These rapid acting insulins are going to have an onset of just a few minutes. So Aspart, for example, has an onset of about 10 to 20 minutes with a peak of one to three hours and a duration of just three to five hours. So with this quick of an onset, okay, here's what you see happen in the hospital. The patient has a seven o'clock dose of aspartame. Okay, it's supposed to be given right before breakfast. What'll happen is, you know, a novice nurse or a nurse who's just too busy or not, you know, really connecting all the dots will see that medication is due and they'll go in and they'll, boom, slam the insulin aspartame really quick. So what happens with that is within 10 minutes, our patient's blood sugar's plummet. Okay, they tank. That that insulin aspart on, has a very quick onset. When it's supposed to be given right before breakfast, right with breakfast, okay, so they're taking in uh, nourishment, they're taking in glucose right after they're given that. What'll happen is because this happens, because they go in and give it, and then lo and behold, you know, the trays are delayed or the, or the for whatever reason, something happens and the patient doesn't eat their breakfast, they don't then go into very severe hypoglycemia because they didn't actually intake the glucose that the nurse was hoping or expecting or not even thinking about. So with patients who are on this rapid acting insulin, if they have a morning dose, they have, anytime they have a dose, uh, make sure that there's that the blood sugar can handle it, okay? And especially if it is this morning dose it's supposed to be taken with breakfast, make sure that you're giving it with breakfast. Don't do it until you see the tray in the patient's hand, okay? That's really what I want to preach to you on that. With all insulin, and we've talked about this with each of them, is that you really want to monitor for signs of hypo and hyperglycemia. Can't stress that enough. I always tell new nurses and and, uh, students and stuff that don't just, you see your tech go take vitals, uh, they take the blood sugars, they write them down, and you don't get to it until later. If you can't get to it right away, make sure you recheck the blood sugars. And then if you are treating like a severe hyperglycemic state, you know, blood sugars of 400, make sure you're following up. Make sure you're seeing if it's working. If it does get up to like 400, you should be, you know, calling a physician, patient may be going on an insulin drip, but you really should be watching very closely. And especially with these ones that have a very, very quick onset, make sure that you're staying close with the patient, monitoring what's happening to see that you're not seeing this patient at the severe hypoglycemic state. All right. So that is rapid acting insulin. The one that you're probably going to see most is Aspart. Onset of 10 to 20 minutes, peak of one to three hours, duration of just three to five hours. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG.com. To get our free cheat sheet covering the 50 most commonly prescribed medications, head over to NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. That's NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for being part of the NRSNG family. We're here to help you succeed in nursing school and in life. So start your journey today over at NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. We're glad to have you aboard. You know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing, y'all.